What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, follow me at Impresario underscore 317, and let's get started. So today we have a really cool review. Um, this is the shoe that dropped today, and the shoe is actually the Nike Air Jordan 1 um, Sports Illustrated or a Star is Born pair. Um, and I got both pairs in a size 9. Suggested retail price 160 and let's get started. So what we're always looking for on my Air Jordan 1 reviews, if you guys are familiar with my channel or new to my channel, um, is quality. Um, there's always hype about quality. And with these, um, I have a few mixed feelings with, that I will get to shortly. But let me tell a story on these and keep it short. I'm not going to bore you to death. So this is the Nike Air Jordan 1 Sports Illustrated or A Star Is Born. They go hand in hand. Both are a good name for the shoe. They're calling it a Star is Born because it was MJ's first um, game with the Chicago Bulls um, back in the 80s. I think it was 1985. I can't remember the exact date. It doesn't really matter anyways. But um, it was when he was first um, featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine. And the reason they actually made this swoosh here that's embroidered there, that is embroidery on it. Um, the reason they made it these colors is because it's the old um, NBA players uh, colors jerseys for the Milwaukee Bucks and he they happen to be playing the Chicago Bulls happen to be playing the, the Milwaukee Bucks um, and that's the reason they made it in green the green honestly throws the shoe off <laughs> that's one of the major turnoffs to me um, but for the theme it does fit it well but for the shoe color combination it doesn't go well if that makes sense obviously they put the red there too as well um that piece of red leather overlay there or outline um and then they have the wings logo there in red and it has a little bit of a glossy finish there um and then this piece of leather you can actually fold back and it says on there in gloss a star on one side and on the other side here it says is born and then it has December 10 1984 so I was a, a year a year off <laughs> um, and then right here we have the Nike Air Jordan logo there um, right there and then the nylon black tongue that we're used to seeing and then on the back we have just a regular piece of leather there and then on the insole, we just have a regular insole, to be honest. Give me a second. Um, if you hear my dogs barking in the background, that's because there is strangers probably in the alley. Um, but yeah, blue insole with Nike Air on both sides of the shoe. Yeah, it's on both shoes. Shoe tree, um, black liner, nothing too fancy, guys. Um, the leather here is like a cream or sail color the midsole is also sail guys the toe box is black it's like a matte black finish and then it has the sail white um, toe box there with those perforations there that we're used to seeing on the air jordan once the leather looks good guys but honestly, it's more to me like a mimic of wanna be good quality. So Jordan brand is really good at doing this where the leather looks good, but it's really not. For example, on the toe box, it looks like it's really good. It's responsive, but it's really not. The leather on this is very similar to the leather on the Game Royal Ones. Um, and yeah, the Game Royal Ones. Um, it's very similar where it looks really good and plush, but it's just not there. Again, here it's very soft, but it's it can be better, you know. For Air Jordan 1, it can be better. Um, and then the toe box overlay, again, it looks like it's soft, but it's not the best quality I've ever seen on an Air Jordan 1. Here, they were saying this was shattered backboard quality. I don't know what they've been smoking, but this is nowhere near it. Um, again, this is more like game royal quality here. Um, the leather on those. Um, the stitching is nice. I like the stitching. They changed it up a bit. I don't like the color. Um, back here, it's soft leather, but it's 
like I said, Game Royal leather quality. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, those Game Royal blue um, shoes that came out earlier this year. Um, Google them. Go check them out. I'm pretty sure they're sitting at your store. Um, local foot, foot auction or foot locker. Here the leather is a little bit better, but still can be way, way better. Um, but for 160 I mean, it's... I guess it's worth your money if you really are a shoe collector, but not to me. Green lace is there, and then the red, the green for the Milwaukee Bucks, obviously, and then the red for, you know, the Chicago Bulls. Um, and then here's just the other pair, guys. I'm going to give you kind of like a B-roll. My lighting isn't the best in my room, but I um, figure I might as well try. So yeah, guys, that's the reason they're calling these rook or not rookie of the year, but uh, a star is born and Sports Illustrated. Um, no need to hype the shoe up. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys really weren't feeling this. I wasn't feeling the colors at all. I don't think they look good. Um, but yeah, these pairs are sold. So let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Subscribe. Follow me on IG at Impresario317. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.